Kings After King Jehoshaphat King Jehoshaphat of Judah After the death of King Jehoshaphat of Judah his son King Jehoram succeeded him as king of Judah After the death of King Ahaziah of Israel his brother King Joram succeeded him as king of Israel Jehoram son of King Jehoshaphat of Judah had 6 brothers their father gave them large amounts of gold silver and other valuable possessions and placed each one in charge of one of the fortified cities of Judah but because Jehoram was the eldest Jehoshaphat made him his successor When Jehoram was in firm control of the kingdom he had all his brothers killed Jehoram became king at the age of 32 and he ruled in Jerusalem for 8 years he followed the wicked example of king Ahab and the other kings of Israel because he had married one of Ahab's daughters He sinned against the Lord but the Lord was not willing to destroy the dynasty of David because he had made a covenant with David and promised that his descendants would always continue to rule Some Philistines and Arabs lived near where some Sudanese had settled along the coast The Lord incited them to go to war against Jehoram They invaded Judah, looted the royal palace, and carried off as prisoners all the king's wives and sons except Ahaziah, his youngest son. Then, after all this, the Lord brought on the king a painful disease of the intestines. For almost two years, it grew steadily worse until finally the king died in agony. Jehoram had become king at the age of 32 and had ruled in Jerusalem for 8 years. Nobody was sorry when he died. They buried him in David's city but not in the royal tombs. So now the people of Israel made Ahaziah king as his father's successor. Ahaziah became king at the age of 22 and he ruled in Jerusalem for 1 year. Ahaziah also followed the example of King Ahab's family since his mother Athaliah the daughter of King Ahab gave him advice that led him to evil so God had chosen a man named Jehu to destroy him as Jehu was carrying out God's sentence on the dynasty he came across a group made up of Judean leaders and of Ahaziah's nephews Jehu killed them all. A search was made for Ahaziah and he was found hiding in Samaria. They took him to Jehu and put him to death. No member of Ahaziah's family was left who could rule the kingdom. As soon as King Ahaziah's mother Athaliah learned of her son's murder, She gave orders for all the members of the royal family of Judah to be killed. Ahaziah had a half sister, Jehosheba, who was married to a priest named Jehoiada. She secretly rescued one of Ahaziah's sons, Joash, took him away from the other princes who were about to be murdered and hid him in a bedroom at the temple. By keeping him hidden she saved him from the death at the hands of Atalia for 6 years he remained there in hiding while Atalia ruled as queen